how to make ravioli lasagna cups. Let's get into it. First, start boiling a large pot for your raviolis. When your water's boiling, you want to cook your raviolis for two minutes. You can use any brand and any flavor you'd like. By the way, my water's green because I used it to defrost my frozen spinach. Strain your pasta and run it under cold water to stop the cooking process and to cool them down faster for the next part. Once you've strained and cooled down your pasta, you want to pat it dry with some paper towels. Once you've patted everything dry, just let them rest until ready to use them. I suggest trying to leave them all in one single layer as much as possible. Dice finely about three cloves of garlic and add it to a small saute pan with about one and a half teaspoons of oil. Saute your garlic for about two minutes until barely golden. Add about 10 ounces of de-thawed frozen chopped spinach to your garlic and mix to combine. Cook it for about another minute or so. Spray a muffin pan with Pam spray or grease it with oil and place one ravioli in each hole. Next, you want to add about a tablespoon of marinara to each cup. You can use store-bought or homemade. This particular is homemade. Next, you want to add about one and a half tablespoons of your spinach. Add one more layer of ravioli to your tops. Add more sauce to the top of that. And lastly, add about one tablespoon of shredded mozzarella cheese to the top of that. Now you want to bake your ravioli lasagna cups at about 375 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted and lightly golden. Now I will say for this, I have, I've only used about 25 raviolis. You will have a bunch left. So if you want to double up on the sauce and the spinach and just keep going, Feel free, otherwise you can just do whatever you want with the rest of the raviolis. As for me, I only had a tiny little bit of sauce left and a little bit of spinach left, so I just mixed everything together. This looks delicious. Let your lasagna noodle cups sit for about 5-10 to 10 minutes to rest and enjoy. Now moving on to dessert, I'm going to show you how to make some chocolate almond cranberry wontons. Let's get into it. In a small bowl, combine a half a cup of chocolate chips, semi-sweet preferably, a quarter cup of slithered almonds, and a quarter cup of either dried cranberries or cherries. Mix until well combined. Now grab yourself a wonton wrapper and put about a half tablespoon of your filling in the center of it. And also grab yourself a little bit of water. Wet your finger a little, wet the edges all the way around, and fold your wonton in half, just like this. Pinch the edges together. When you've pinched the edges together, you can also use a fork to make it crimp them together. Place them on a greased tin foil lined baking sheet. You want to bake your wontons off at 425 degrees for about 5 to 7 minutes until golden. Once your wontons are lightly golden, let them rest for about 5 minutes and feel free to sprinkle them with some powdered sugar and enjoy.